live from Austin, Texas, where we're unveiling our new blockchain-based gaming console at South by Southwest. It's Retro Pals with Danny and Alex. Hello, Alex. Hello, Danny. Uh, yes, I just need to wait mm, three hours for the bus to arrive and so I can go down to uh, our conference. Yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Welcome, everyone, to South by Southwest this week. I'm your keynote speaker, Danny Retro Pal. Mm-hmm. Hope you're all doing well. Hope you enjoy your $15 bottled water. Uh, please leave our city. You're ruining it. Get out. Just leave. <laughs> so we're bunkered down here at home because downtown is literally unlivable right now. Just gonna stay here for the next couple weeks while uh, all the tech heads move out of town. You can't go downtown without being accosted by some guy on a scooter being all like, Blockchain? Blockchain? Is it time for blockchain? You have to... They're all over the place. It's like a zombie movie, except it's those lime scooters, and they're all, they all have beards. <laughs> Every last one of them. Apparently, uh, a lot of people are downtown clapping at those scooters because some joker put a bunch of stickers on them that says, Clapping Activated. <laughs> <laughs> For real? Yeah. So, so that's kind of a shame that we're not there to witness that. But... Instead, we're going to have to stay home and do a presentation on the Tiger Gamecom. Oh my god, this thing has been a long time coming. This week we polled our patrons. Uh, the latest Poland versus month, we asked them, Tiger Gamecom or Neo Geo Pocket Color? This is now the third <laughs> loss in a row for the Neo Geo Pocket Color, <laughs> having previously lost out to the Wonder Swan, and then the Virtual Boy, and now the Tiger Gamecom. <laughs> what? Poor Neo Geo Pocket Color. It's like the worst system ever. No one wants to see that. It's so good, too. They have to finally flush it and take it out of the rankings. Neo Geo, you you messed up. It's garbage. People want to see Gamecom instead. So what we're going to see tonight is the Tiger Gamecom. And what does it look like? It looks like that. Yep, back in 1997, Tiger, the people who made those little LCD handhelds that were pretty much unplayable ports of NES games and stuff like that, they made their own portable gaming console. It has a touch screen, thus mm-hmm. the stylus down there. It has four action buttons, a uh, few option buttons, and it has a modem connection port on the side so you can check your email. Yeah. It requires an internet connection, though, so you have to check it at home. You can't check it portably. <laughs> Why not use a computer? Uh, it's on the GameCom. Because your mom's using it to look, to, to look up uh, information about... Uh, uh, Oh, I didn't know the train of thought, so I'm just going to say she's looking up information about guns. That's what mom's like, right? <laughs> Honey, get off your email. I got to look up them guns. <laughs> thanks, for the, thanks for the host, Helix. Good timing. I don't know why. Thank you, though. Oh, my God. So this thing, uh, this was around the time the Game Boy was still popular. The Game Gear was kind of petering out by this point. The Lynx had long been dead. So Tiger took the Nintendo approach. Monochrome graphics, uh, really simple gameplay, just taking mm-hmm. it back to basics, pretty much just emulating the Game Boy step for step as best they could. Oh boy, the execution could not have been worse though, could not have been worse. Tonight's stream only exists because of Bad Game Hall of Fame curator Cass, thank you very much for your assistance. Yes, thank you. Yes, they've uh, provided us with uh, a rundown of every single game available for this thing, along with detailed instructions about how to run the only existing emulator for this thing. Alex, yeah. show, show the graphic. You want to know how old this emulator is? <laughs> this it. emulator is literally more than 20 years old. The last version was released at the end of 1998, as you can see there. Uh, it's compatible with Windows 95, Windows 98, and maybe Windows NT if we're lucky. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Windows 2000, XP, 7, 8, 10, who even knows? Uh, through some miracle, this somehow works perfectly on a Windows 10 machine. Don't ask me how. Or yeah! Why. Yeah, how? How? I really want to know the story behind this, because apparently a group of people just hacked together a GameCom emulator in 1998, and they got it mostly working, and then they finally played the games, and they were like, ooh, let's stop working on this. And that's what happened. <laughs> now, since then... Uh, Premature support has been added to Mess and MAME uh, via some open source kind of business. Mm -hmm. You know them open source people. But from the video footage I've seen, it's actually less accurate than the 20-year-old emulator. So we're going to be playing a 20-year-old emulator tonight. 
and it's very fiddly. You have, just to give you some idea of what goes into loading a game, you have to load it up through a debug console. You have to launch a kernel manually every time you want to emulate a single game. So we may have a little bit of downtime between each game tonight, but we're going to try and get through this the best we can. Mm-hmm. And I, luckily, Cass wrote us a butt-ton of information. Oh, yeah, metric butt-ton. Yeah. Just the just like with the Atari stream, so you're going to hear a lot of fun tidbits and facts thanks to Bad Game Hall of Fame. Should we get started? Oh, man. Okay, so first things first, uh, I actually have to relinquish control of the mouse to Danny, so... Yeah, make sure you have everything in place right okay, now. Okay, hold on. I gotta make sure. Okay. Uh-huh. 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 Talking about mom guns? Great, great. Okay, there we go. Yeah, gunmoms.com. Oh, should I change the name of the game or just leave it at Tiger Game? Never change the name of the game. Never change anything. Got it. I want you to have a minimal amount of interactivity with the stream because, like I mentioned during the pre-show, this is one of those finicky emulators where if it loses focus for even a second, it completely freaks out and crashes, which is what it's done right here. You get to see Batman just frozen in place forever. Oh my bags. god. Okay, are you ready for me to actually do this? Yes. Is everything in place? Yes. Yes. Oh god. I'm taking over. Oh god, yes, I hope so. I have uh, a joypad in one hand and a wireless keyboard in the other. I am Hacker Man. Oh my god, you are Hacker Man! Let's make this happen. Here we go. Okay, so just to walk you through the process of me doing this, you can't see this because it's not on stream, but... I'm loading up a disassembler window. Mm -hmm. I'm clicking file, load bin file. Let's go with Batman and Robin dot bin. I have to pick an input address, which is like a, an offset or something like that. It defaults to zero, so that's nice. I'm clicking file, load kernel. Uh, you know what? Let's do the full kernel because that actually has the full GameCom introduction when you actually see uh, when you turn on the console. Ooh. So I loaded that up, and then when I click run, everything should work absolutely perfectly. You ready for this? Yes. Okay, good start. Ah, oh, crap. I need to turn down the audio. Game come active. <laughs> Actually, you know what? It was worth it to have it that loud for that part. Can I relinquish control? Yeah, very okay. quickly uh, do that and then click back on the, the screen. Okay. It didn't look like it crashed. Yep, that's what you hear when you turn on a GameCom. You hear a clunk and then it says GameCom active. It doesn't do it as horrifically slow as this emulator does it, and that's the problem with this emulator. As far as I can tell, the video emulation is close to 100% accurate. The sound emulation, the music works fine. The digitized effects all play at extremely slow and terrifying volume. So enjoy that whenever that happens. Now this main menu here is actually touchscreen based, so I'm going to go ahead and click through here. Yep. He's... Let's look at our phone book. Yeah. Oh, nice. So in addition to being a games console, this thing advertised it as, itself as like a personal digital assistant of sorts. It had this very... Uh, the touchscreen was divided up into squares, see? They were very large squares and they pretty much map to what you see on the screen right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type... Ah, shit. None of the people I know are in here. Uh... Well, yeah, let's do this one. Okay, who's who, who are you talking to? I'm talking to... Hey. Hey. Let's go ahead and save that. And there, now we have our friend Hay in our address book. Oh, man. We'll never forget him now. What do we do here? Exit, I guess? Yes. Yeah. Oh, this is exciting. Oh, I am so not used to the chat being so fast. All right, let's see what's on our calendar. What do we got here for South by Week? All right. Uh... Looking pretty good here in April of 1997. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. Go to the... Uh... Backstreet Boys round in 97? No, F go to the Fiona Apple concert. <laughs> um, Let's see what's happening in the 66th month of the year 6666. It's invalid. Aww. I guess Fiona Apple isn't playing in town. Mm. This is the most unbelievably complex thing I've ever done for stream. 
I feel like I have five arms right now. Oh my god, he's got so much... Duh, Danny's doing so much at, at the same time And right now, now I'm going to do multiplication. This is bullshit. You're just showing off now. This is mathematics right here. <laughs> that seems accurate. Well, let's go back to the cube. So it has a, cal <laughs> it has a calculator. It has a, an address book. And soon, I'll show you the email. It also keeps track of your high scores in an individual app. Here you can see my I got my high score of 1,500 points in Batman and Robin. Pretty cool. And wouldn't you know it, this thing actually has a built-in game. It has Solitaire built-in. Now some people might tell you, I'm sold. This is, this is all I need. Solitaire and a PDA and a calendar. This is amazing. I like that it's a tiger. I'm sorry. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's see if I can stack some stuff. Oh, God. Okay. Um, I don't know how this solitaire works. Um, I want to put the jack on the queen. What? Anyway, that's solitaire. Uh, somehow it's scored? I'd like to see how this is scored. Well, you're at negative 52 right now, so... So we've explored the many features available to new Tiger Gamecom owners. Let's see what the games are like. We're starting up with an adaptation of the year's most popular movie, Batman and Robin, directed by Joel Schumacher. Ooh. A true classic of cinema, if there ever was one. Oh, fancy. Did it have, like, a putting in the cart? Uh-huh. It has an animation, and I didn't mention this, but the thing itself has two cartridge slots, which is amazing. Hmm, this kind of sounds like shit, Danny. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, I think this should be the default volume for everything we have to this point. Okay, I mean, uh, beyond this point. So if it's too loud or horrible, let us know and we'll change it. Can't do anything about the horribleness, but we can change the volume. What options we got? I think we're good. You liking this music? It's very minimalist. So the music is pretty much, uh, you know those old Java cell phones? That's what it sounds like to me. It just, does! Just a single tone playing. Uh, no multiple channels, just this one tone. And the thing is, you either get this music or digitized sound effects. So if there's ever a need for a digitized sound effect to play, it'll halt the music and play that instead. <laughs> Let me demonstrate. So the whole thing's in black and white. It's fairly detailed for what it is, but the screen is pretty low resolution. Who should we be? Uh, what the- what is that? In the- who is that? I don't know, that must what, be, uh... What is that? I think that's Azrael. Let's pick him. I, I guess? You get to pick your weapons. So it's somewhat similar to the Batman Forever game released on consoles before this. And let's play the game. Okay, we've got, uh, some info from Cass here about this game. Uh, the acclaimed published takes on Batman Forever have a pretty well-established reputation of for being some of the worst Batman software to ever exist. This Gamecom take on the most reviled film should probably take the crown, though. Some decently detailed graphic work is hardly enough to distract from one of the most monotonous beat-em-ups ever developed. Oh, so yes enjoy. it is. Yeah, in some ways this is better than the Batman Forever game. In some ways it is much, much worse. I like the tiger graffiti back there, like telling kids to, to graffiti the, uh, the name of your favorite console. <laughs> Nintendo sucks, Tiger Tiger rules. Do you think there were some people who like in 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 the like oh I like the Game Gear oh I like the Game Boy someone was like ah, I like my Tiger handheld electronics. Yeah, no one talked to that kid. <laughs> that kid. Now this one, out of all the games I've played, it is most unfortunate this one does not properly emulate the sound because every time you get hit in this game, it stops the music. And no matter if you're Batman or Robin, the sound effect that plays is a dude going, Oh! It does not play that correctly in this version, and that makes me very sad. Uh, you're going to need a real Gamecom to get that experience. At okay. some point, I did have an actual Gamecom, so I can confirm this is not exactly 100% accurate. So, we're talking about other, uh, Danny... 
Sylvia Bear and Electric Boogaloo are mentioning this, but Sylvia Bear confirms that there was someone out there who owned a Supervision and liked it more than the Game Boy and the Game Gear. Wow. I, I That's pretty incredible, but it's still more likely than someone liking a GameCom. The Supervision had actual games. <laughs> Granted, these games aren't by Sachin, which you may see as uh, an improvement. But then again, look at this. I guess it's playable? You get multiple weapons? But but the question is why would you want to play it? It is extremely simple. Should mention the uh, the actual screen on the thing. If you were playing an actual GameCom, you wouldn't be able to see anything because it blurs constantly. If you thought the original Game Boy was bad, you ain't seen nothing yet, brother. The Game Boy, the GameCom, you cannot see anything if there's motion on the screen. Yeah, it's really really bad. So watching it on an emulator is probably the best way to go. Yeah, in some, in most ways, an emulator is definitely the preferable way to experience this console. So if you didn't quite grasp what was going on in the screen, uh, I was stuck on this little street scene until I beat up a certain number of thugs, and then it says go. You can't just go to the right. You have to beat up a certain number of thugs before it'll let you go. So when Cass called this monotonous, they were right on the money. Yeah. What's that thing in the background? I love it! A weird mutant turtle stick its head out of a butthole? <laughs> Batman, I think we got more problems than these thugs. Maybe it's Wednesday. <laughs> well, I'm just telling it like it is. Prove me wrong. I'll be waiting. Oh, also, should uh, do you want me to read uh, Cass's intro to the system? Because it's really interesting. Oh, yeah, why not? Okay, since uh, Danny's going to play for a bit, uh, he's going to play, play probably this game for like an hour, two hours. Uh, let me just read this here. So, uh, since this is uh, by Cass of Bad Game Hall of Fame, also before I start, I want to thank uh, Sleepy Yoshi 26 for resubscribing. It's, it's a two months in a row streak. Thank you. Nice, thank you. Anyway, uh, so Cass writes... 300,000 units sold over the course of a miserable three-year run. That's not bad, actually. That's the sad statistic we have to contend with when looking back on Tiger's Game Kong. For reference, Nintendo had managed to move something like 54 million Game Boys by the time Tiger had decided to stray from the dedicated handheld market and into the turbulent realm of cartridge handhelds. Yeah, this is 97 they decided to jump in. Like, way after the Game Gear and Lynx died, they decided this is when we're going to take on Nintendo. 20 games and two hardware revisions later, it would be new owners Hasbro Inc. who finally pulled the plug on this failed little project in order to refocus Tiger's efforts on their line of Furby animatronic toy products. A lateral move, if you ask me. Bless you, Furby. Bless you. Hey, I beat the first level. Oh, and you that, go into a sewer! That, your favorite! That's yes. amazing! Yes, this was after the R Zone. Yes. Um, uh-huh. So, uh, let's see. Cast continues. With its 12 by 10 grid touchscreen laid across a 200 by 160 pixel display outputting in four glorious levels of grayscale, the Gamecom was no attempt at trying to outpower its portable peers of the era. With a focus on hip features such as a half-baked PDA functionality and internet connectivity, it, was almost, it almost feels as if Tiger were trying to market their device to businessmen on the go. Honestly though, if they had just learned, leaned into more games along the lines of Lights Out, and Henry, catering to puzzle and quiz fans, parents looking for potentially enriching games for their children, they probably could have managed to do something with this otherwise doomed console line. But alas, that was not the strategy they went with. I don't know I what's wrong with this game. This looks great. Go on. <laughs> nice butts. <laughs> See, they opted instead for a series of commercials where they called their consumers slackers and morons. And I do have that commercial in the... Uh... Oh yeah. Yeah, don't worry about that. Yeah, it's in the, uh, in, uh, in, uh, intermission. Robin is visiting the butt museum. What is with those asses? Man, I'm, I'm, I finished the first stage! Wow! Oh, great! That's the most I've ever played of a Gamecom game, and I had the system at one point. Hint, if you're thinking of buying this, don't. It is don't. not worth it. It is 100% not worth it. I can confirm this, having previously owned a Gamecom and around half the library. I also owned an R-Zone. Ask me about that sometime. Cast. Hmm. Oh, go on. Oh, Cast continues. Uh, the bulk of games you'll play for the handheld were created in-house at Tiger, with licenses from other publishers and developers being granted on a seemingly hands-off basis. With only a pitiful pair of third-party releases, Centipede and Frogger, 
you can quickly get a feel for what I described as the Tiger trademarks across the rest of the first party releases. Repeated use of a small library of audio samples, poor distinctions between foreground and background elements, and a general lack of understanding of concepts such as level design and momentum. Why, why did the game end? I uh, didn't see what happened there. Continue. <laughs> you continue, actually. I don't want to. <laughs> okay, we'll pick up another game. Though. That was abrupt. There was no death animation. I don't know what killed me. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, well, that's Batman and Robin for Gamecom. Ah, uh, Jason the Janitor, one hit kill. I, uh, yeah, we entered the World War II exhibit, and then something murdered us, and that was it for Robin. So, there you go, a Tiger Gamecom original. That is a game built from the ground up for the Tiger Gamecom. But not all games were like that. In fact, there were several that were ported from other systems, and I think we're just gonna... We're not even going to make you wait. We're going to get to the heavy hitters right now. Let's play some Sonic Jam. Okay, so I have an extra step here. I have to mute our audio out. There it goes. Because mm -hmm. whenever you stop playing a game, it makes a really loud and obnoxious audio stutter. It sucks. <laughs> even if you're emulating this thing, it's a huge pain in the ass, is what I'm saying. Yep, Sonic Jam, released on the Sega Saturn. We played that before. It's a compilation of Sonic's Genesis adventures. And here they ported it to the Gamecom. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, oh, I have to do the offset. The offset is zero. And then I'm going to go ahead and load up the test kernel, which has better performance, but it lacks the, uh, it lacks the BIOS functionality. So you can't hear it say, Gamecom active! <laughs> oh no. Anyway, Cass ends us all with saying, yeah, it's all rough as guts, but there's also an unmistakable charm and earnestness to all of it. Rough as guts is a good way to put mm -hmm. it, yeah. So, who likes Sonic? I do? Do you want to play this? Are you kidding G me? Give me your phone and I'll read uh, Cass's write-up. Okay, let me, let me get to where Sonic is on this. Well, you can find it. Okay. You know how to use a phone, right? Uh, yeah. I'm okay. I, I'm afraid to touch anything or else I'll. Okay. <laughs> uh, turn the. Oh, I'll turn it on. Oh, right. Good call. <laughs> Sonic, you're looking a little, uh. Looking a little like I drew you there. <laughs> <laughs> How do you. It's one of the buttons. I'll figure it out. There it goes. So you can pick between Sonic and Knuckles, Sonic 2, or Sonic 3. They're all in here. Uh, don't ask where the original went. Sonic and Knuckles! I'm gonna play my favorite, Sonic 2. I can be Knuckles in Sonic 2! Nice! I wanna be Knuckles. Now as it turns out, Bad Game All of Fame actually has an article all about this game up on their website, so I'm going to find and link to that. Well, Alex gets used to the controls of this game. <laughs> What the f fuck? Hey, this music! Yeah, it's just like, uh, just like on Genesis. Can't go up a hill! Okay, hold on. Here's a, here's a link to the relevant article that should tell you jump, everything. Jump up! God's sake, Knuckles! My, my dude, my man! A friend! Cass says, I only went and wrote an article dedicated to this disaster piece of a conversion some time back as well, covering all the deceitful marketing and the failed attempt to bring Sonic 3D Blast to the Gamecom, which ultimately led way to this. Yeah, check that out. We almost had Sonic 3D Blast on Gamecom, and instead... Uh, well... Well, I will say Sonic. one thing. His, his Knuckles Run animation, it looks nice. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. What the fuck is this, Danny? Here's the classic invincibility music. You remember it. Hey, hey, Danny. Once again. Okay, we're actually getting requests to turn up the volume, so why don't you do that? Oh, God. Oh, okay. no, wait. I can do that. Um, can you from this? Yes, I, I, can. I can. No. Okay, I can I'm letting this. Danny do I can it. do this on my own. Okay, there you go. Okay, is that better? That should that should be good. I don't want it to be too loud because sometimes there's going to be digitized sound effects and they'll just completely <laughs> obliterate you. Chat just said don't do it. Sorry, we did it. We have to. If I suffer, you do too. Hey, you beat a level. 
I forget, is this Sonic 2 or 3? Ah! Whoa. It's 2. N Knuckles? Alright, Emerald Hill Zone, Act 2. He's kind of uh, sluggish, isn't he? I want you to try something, Alex. Okay. Uh, why don't you show us Knuckles' trademark glide? You mean die? Yeah, it's Knuckles' trademark die. That's what I said. Hmm. Doesn't seem to be doing it. Yeah. That's because Knuckles doesn't glide in this one. He's just a slower, fatter, stupider Sonic. <laughs> he has nothing to set him apart from the pack. <laughs> You saved Flicky. Please go up the hill! Don't! Having fun? <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> Alex reduced to just a set of guttural noises. No, 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 no! <laughs> yeah, the momentum is real weird in this game. I will say you do have a spin dash. Um, I do? Does it work? No. You can try it, though. <laughs> <laughs> What the fuck was that? Yeah, you only push the button once to spin dash, and if you push it again, it automatically lets loose. But <laughs> but it doesn't seem to give you enough momentum, is the thing. Let's try this. There you go, you got this. Oh, now you don't. I give up. Video games are, are dead. <laughs> uh, I've canceled them. Uh, I, I've canceled them both in the... In the literal sense and in the online sense, video games are canceled. If I see you liking or enjoying a video game, get off my feed. Um, you will be blocked probably in the age. Don't stop! Oh, Knuckles, cool. Fuck was Knuckles was moonwalking. Knuckles, you should know it's not cool to do that anymore. Danny, God damn. Knuckles is behind the times. Oh, Danny, please. I can't look at chat, please. No, no! <laughs> Good work, Alex. You definitely you def you definitely showed off what this game was like. Thank you. Uh, uh, here's your phone sucks. back. Oh, thank you. I don't know why you need that phone when we have a Gamecom. Uh, let's check out Sonic 3. So, as Cass mentioned in chat, Tails is in here, and believe it or not, Tails can fly. Oh, so, so he can do a thing, but not Knuckles, yeah. huh? Tails can fly, but Knuckles cannot glide. Knuckles this, is just worthless. This is some anti-Knuckles bullshit, and I do not love it. It is. It's, prop it's propaganda it. is what it is. So, oh, yeah, this plays nothing like a Sonic game would. It plays bad. It's really disconcerting how, how they stick to the bottom of the screen, you notice? Like they're rubbing up against the bottom part of the, the console. It doesn't feel right. This game was funded by the Tails Lobby. <laughs> this is not better than Sonic Adventure 2. <laughs> when I think of Sonic Adventure 2, I feel a strong tightness in my chest even thinking about it, but I would much rather feel that... that yeah, I'd rather feel that right. than whatever this makes me feel. You see that canned animation, the, the rings bouncing away? That means you couldn't even get any of them. Mm -hmm. That's so cool. Also the classic Angel Island Zone music playing in the background. Who can forget? He could fly for a long time, too. Oh. Dead. <sighs> this game is bad. So based on what you've seen so far, folks, uh, what would you pay for a Tiger Game Com? <laughs> If the answer is $20, hey, good news, that's what it costs on eBay. That's what I paid for it like 10 years back when I actually bought one, and that's what it costs now because there has been no increase in price. No one wants this thing. Got some cursed knowledge from chat for you, Danny. Uh -huh. This is a mascot platformer. Oh no, it is. We do have to have a game calm night. What's worse than this, though? Is Darkwing Duck worse than this? I guess that's what we aim to find out. Couldn't get a single ring. And I still have one more Sonic game to check out after this. Well, there's one of these on eBay, and it is 80 bucks. Holy cow, maybe it has gone up in price. Uh, invest today. Oh, a bonus stage, cool! Do it, do it! Check it out. Get Black Spheres, it said. Oh no. Oh dear. 
Oh, have you ever become seasick? Because I am seasick watching this. Uh, oh my god. All right, chart then. a course for the seven seas oh. of sickness. Sonic Jam. Now, some people complained about the quality of the ports in the Saturn version. They said it was kind of weird that the music got CD audio instead of being, you know, synth-based. It had inaccurate sound emulation, some occasional glitchiness. But you know what? I think it's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, there's no... They should have at least had the soundtrack as an option, though. This one? Yeah. Yes, yes. Oh god, a loop. I did it! Hey! Wow! I'm sorry. I'm I kind of like how shitty this music is. It really does remind me of old mobile phones. It's it's fascinating. This sounds like one of those like ringtone ads from 2003, where yeah. like, they'd be like, "Hey!" Like you'd open up your flip phone to play a game of uh, X versus Sever, <laughs> and it would sound exactly like this. <laughs> they should have the song in Sonic Generations. You're right, Blab. It's part of Sonic's heritage. Yes, this is total jamster music. Yes, that's what it is. This oh. is... This I mean, is like you can download the Sonic music and maybe like the worst version of the Crazy Frog thing, and yeah. Okay, you're seeing a lot of flickering and slow frame rate right now. Folks, the stream is running at a smooth 60 frames per second, I promise you. Yes, we have no There have no been drop no drop frames. frames. This is 100% all frames that you're seeing right here. Oh, Tails, you didn't do that correctly. Let's okay. try that again. Come on, buddy. I know you got it. Quit running backwards up the loop. Thanks. <laughs> okay, let's do this. <laughs> Tails. Tails. Oh, I know. That's thinking right there. Nice. That's using the old noodle. <coughs> Can you believe this shit? <laughs> Alex is dying. I am. <clears throat> so am I. Oh boy. Oh boy. What's what? T Tails, were you yawning? He is yawning. He is yawning at the end of the world. Yawn, so pedestrian. Yay! I did it. <laughs> Yay! World's over. <laughs> Pretty epic. Oh no. Oh no. Do 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 do. This sucks, Danny. I don't know what you're talking about. This is amazing. This is Sonic as you've never seen him before. Ah, Tails. Tails. So how does it feel to play this, Danny? Bad. It feels like you only have input control once every couple seconds. Otherwise, the game just kind of takes over and does what it wants. I can say for a matter of fact that this is worse than Somari. Absolutely. Oh, without a doubt. Somari, so, Somari runs loops around that this game. Worse than Jurassic Boy, too. Yeah. I. Oh, man. I do prefer Jurassic Boy. Way to go, Chin. You finally have a Sonic game that you're better than. Can I get to the end of this level? That's my challenge, I think. Oop. Do you think? Do you think they're gonna? Do you think this is gonna feature prominently in the Sonic movie? This music. <laughs> I hope so. Sonic and is gonna be like. <laughs> they introduce that horrible looking Sonic and it just goes. Doop, 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 doop. They're gonna. They're gonna punch fucking Doctor Robotnik in the nose and it's gonna be like. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, that's a shortcut right there. Nice. For all you speedrunners, take note. Are right, you gonna switch games after this? No. Okay, you don't, you don't want to play any more games? You just want to cancel the stream? Yeah, just just this one. This is all we need. Where'd the rest of the loop go? <laughs> That's fine. We don't need the whole loop. You only need half to get you there. I do at least want to show off Sonic and Knuckles, so you okay. can see just how superior that one is. Um... <laughs> You're right, that was Elon Musk's Hyperloop Magma Ram. Tell you what, since I have to actually unload and reload this ROM and it's a huge pain in the ass, let's come back to Sonic and Knuckles in the second half of the show. <laughs> Tails! Yes. Tails found a way to get killed standing still. I'm done here. Uh... Apparently you're not supposed to be at this part of the stage and you're accessing broken, unfinished stage parts. Oh, good! Well, so it's, yeah, it's, let's... it's good that they allowed Tails in there. 
Yes. I'm glad they thought that through. Sonic Jam for Gamecom. Check it out. It's pretty good. So they had more games, unfortunately, that were ported over from other consoles. Maybe the most famous one, and one that's actually relevant to current events, Resident Evil 2. Now this game was recently remade, ported to PS4. Uh, it looks beautiful. People say it plays pretty good. But have you played this one? That's my question. You know, I haven't. Well, you're not getting the full experience then. I'm wondering if I should be cruel and make Alex play this. Screw it, why not? Uh, run. Here, have my phone, I'll do it. Thank you. This is the... Alex is... I, I'm getting my comeuppance for every bad thing I've ever done. So oh yeah, you deserve this. This is my penance for literally everything. Have fun. Sorry. Oh, there's some, there's some good title screen audio. Check this out. Uh, it has to be unmuted there. Let's reload the game. <laughs> Hey, I thought you were going to unmute it. I'm sorry. If I had known, I would have done It's fine. Wow, look at those graphics. Oh my god. I'd like to get my hands on that game. Damn. So anyone played that new Resident Evil? I haven't yet. I'm too busy playing these games. Okay, load ROM. Set offset. Load kernel. Kernel. Run. Alright, hit your, hit your square button. All right, check this out. Two. I like how he says two. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So you may have heard of this incident in Raccoon City. Uh, they got zombies. It's kind of a big mix-up. Umbrella Corp, you know the story. Anyway, Stars is here. Oh, good. And it's up to Leon S. Kennedy on his first day at work. It's my first day, he says, to every zombie that approaches. It's got the whole story. Mm -hmm. But Umbrella is still experimenting. Okay, Alex, start the game, and I want to see you get past the first screen. There you go. Oh, he's, just, he's just nibbling on your ear. It asked, will you use it? And then it de unequipped it. That's awesome. Um, 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 can I knife? Do I, oh, do I have to use the fucking? <laughs> okay, there, now it equipped it. Okay. And you're ready to fight the zombie. What do you think? I sure did! Yep. No, give me another chance. You really no. want to try this again? Okay. One more chance, and then I'll hand it over to you. Okay, according to Cass's readme file, it says, Now this one is proper wild. RE2 on the Gamecom goes through the absolutely unexpected effort of what? reproducing most of the original game's screens and puzzles in admittedly clunky and sometimes confusingly laid out 2D lane-based fashion. Of course, this comes at the cost of any and all cutscenes and story beats, and only provides you with Leon Scott Kennedy to wander around the RCPD as. I swear that one day I'll actually play this whole thing through and properly document it. Cass, I want to see that. I want to see just how. Him. I want to see how much of this game they they ported. Oh, you got him off here. Yes, limp away, Leon. No. How do I attack? Uh. <laughs> well, I'll never find out. Guess what, Danny? It's your turn. There you go. Good work, Alex. Uh, I can always count on Alex to give the every man's opinion of a game. Yeah, if you play this for the first time, that's exactly what's going to happen to you. It gives you no prompts, no warning. It's just like, hey, asshole, play this game. Oh, you're dead. Should have been faster. Now you have to very quickly turn to the zombie. Hit the ready gun button, which is different on this controller since I remapped it. Oh, no. Ah, you are dead. Yes, I am. I am so very dead. Crunch, crunch. <laughs> yeah, you have to be ready right away, because that zombie will get right on you. 
Yeah, you have to turn, hit the ready weapon button, and then fire into the zombie and hope he doesn't get you. Let's see how many tries this takes me. There we go. Oh no. Oh my god! Yeah, to push him off, you have to hit the ready weapon button. I did it! Ah. Okay, yeah, there's one dedicated button to readying your weapon. You don't have to hold it or anything. Uh, there's another button that shoots. There's a button for inventory. And I think the fourth button runs. Yes. So this isn't true th 3D. It has a set number of sprites that it loads in, depending on what lane you're in. Uh, here you can see a third lane down here at the bottom. That's when you're at the closest. Here's the second lane. And you can go to the top lane. And most of the screens are laid out like this. Well, which uh... Which kind of presents an illusion of a 3D environment, but kind of not. Uh, what were you saying? I was going to say, chat's congratulating you on uh, not dying on the first screen. Yeah, I've done the impossible. <laughs> All right, zombie, come get me. I'm ready for you. So those who have played the PS4 version, uh, how does this stack up? Better? Worse? You know... I think it's pretty much the same. I, I think, I think it, you know, I think this is actually pretty comparable. This is like leading into the gun shop, right? I'm trying to mentally piece this together in the actual game. Oh, check it out. It simulates the doors and everything. Ooh, there's a shotgun down there. Chad, yeah, you, uh, it does say rad on your, uh, on your shirt and stuff, RPD. <laughs> Leon is rad. Don't shoot me, I'm nice. Look at that sprite. That looks pretty cool. I will say the close-up character sprites do look pretty cool, but that totally says rad. Mm-hmm. Oh, shit! It just puts you right next to the freaking zombie! <laughs> you are too busy showing off how cool you look. No, 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 no! Get off! Get the fuck off! Sheesh. Sheesh, I say. And it keeps that mechanic of you going really slow whenever you're injured, so that's just extra great. Step by step. Inch by inch. Well, I'm already in danger, but that's a good thing because you start with no health aid spray. <laughs> let's, uh, let's equip the shotgun and hope for the best. Alright, good luck, Danny. What awaits us out here? Uh, more bullshit, it looks like. I love the way you walk! <laughs> wow, feel the power of the shotgun. I think you have to catch your breath because, god, this is so exciting. This game is pretty draining. Alright, now we're making progress now that we got the shotgun. Hang on, Grandpa Leon has to shamble across the screen. Who's the real zombie? Makes you think. <laughs> I'm sorry, but he looks... I'm sorry. I'm sorry, everybody. I'm so sorry, but he looked like the Virgin Chad meme there when he was walking. <laughs> he did! <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. See? <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, he totally does. Old no chin Leon. Now, believe it or not, I got stuck here earlier. You have to you have to enter this door to proceed. This is a door, by That's the way. Do <laughs> yes, exactly. The version of Leon versus the Chad Claire. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's play some b-ball with the zombies. You guys up for some hoops? We go play hoop. Hang on, I uh, my ankle's just not feeling very good. <laughs> the version PS4 versus the Chad game. <laughs> Ah, oh, this is good. I love y'all. I'm out of ammo. Shit. Um, uh, is that ammo down there? Okay, there you go. It's for the handgun, though. Oh. I have to be very quick when I exit this screen. There we go. Hey, get your own ball. <laughs> Just putting the gun right in his mouth. I mean, what? whatever works, you know. Okay, this is now the furthest I've ever gotten in this game. I've never gotten past this point. Last time I played, I died right below the hoop. 
what's next for us? Can you believe this exists? This is real. I didn't make this up. <laughs> I didn't program this game myself as a joke. Uh, Trial High Radio Network, it controls like tank controls in a three-lane game. Yeah, which... they, keep the cap they keep the tank controls, even though it doesn't really make a lot of sense for the controls they got going. And you still have to manually aim, because they didn't put in an auto-aim feature. Which, you know, you would think that was kind of necessary, but... What do I know? And that's Resident Evil 2 on the GameCom. Now, one of the few things they didn't adapt, aside from the cutscenes, the voices, uh, color, they didn't include a save system. Oh! Huh. So you gotta get through that on one credit. I don't know, maybe the title screen had a continue option, but I've never seen an ink ribbon or any way to save the game. So good luck to anyone who wants You're to wrong. play through this. Am You're I wrong? wrong? You are wrong. Ah. There are typewriters. Okay, good. I'm glad. That's one concession they made. Thank Christ. Okay, I'm going to mute the audio here. Okay. Or did you? You want me to be in charge of this I, again? I did it. Okay. Oh, look, there is a load game option. Okay, so if you have infinite patience and infinite time, you can make your way through this game, supposedly. So we've covered the heavy hitters. Let's go ahead and just play through the rest of the library in alphabetical order, I think. We'll do that for the rest of the first half and then continuing into the second half. Sweet. Let me do my whole kernel business here. Our next game will be Centipede. Ooh. Why don't you read us that, uh, that blurb there while I load this up? Sure. Uh, Cass says, one of the th two third-party developments for the GameCom, though this still amounts to a downgraded conversion of the arcade standard. Still very much playable, though. Moves at a decent clip, despite providing only the most rudimentary one-bit graphics. Wow, I'm looking forward to this, then. Uh-oh. <laughs> hmm. It gave me an error. Oh, you may need to do the... I uh, did I did okay. type in the offset. Oh. Let me try and load the uh, kernel anyways. Let's see if this works. I bet this will be just fine. Extra fun thing, by the way, to, to load the cartridge, you have to use the game's touch screen, which amounts to me moving the mouse cursor over it and clicking on it. No, but still Resident Evil 2. Okay. Let's try, let's try Centipede one more time. Okay. Yeah, this is one of the special games that needs an actual offset address and doesn't default to zero. Uh, this one would be 40,000. What? Yep. Hold on. Okay. I got this. I totally got this. This is under control. We're all under control here, folks. Everything is perfectly normal and perfectly fine. Okay, it's giving me an error with this. We may have to skip this. Yeah, sorry, Centipede. You uh, were too good for this world. Shame. That was one of the final releases, and supposedly it's pretty okay. Can't all be winners, and I didn't test out every game, but I did test out this one. Next up, we have Duke Nukem 3D. <sighs> Can I unmute? Um, yes. Let me load this. All right, let's see what Cass says about Duke Nukem 3D. Those alien bastards are gonna pay for chewing up my gum. <laughs> Great base movement with A, B, and C used to fire your weapon in either of the three directions. D will change weapons and also open doors when pressed in conjunction with holding forward, trying to walk uh, okay. into them. So you've seen Resident Evil 2 on this thing, but how does Duke compare? Probably pretty well. It's probably a pretty smooth first-person shooter, 60 FPS, mm -hmm. 3D movement. Sounds great, probably. There's even an attempt at the theme. Listen to that. It's so farty! I like that all the games have the same sound effects, too. It has the same kind of wet blorp noise. Yeah, Cass mentioned in the intro, but yeah, it, they rely on a very, very small sound library, it feels like. Pretty cool. Oh, it's got all the episodes! Wow! Toss out your DOS Duke Nukem 3D. This is the, this is the superior version. You ready for voice clips? Yeah. Here we go. I am the 
that the second time those alien bastards shot. <laughs> Doom. It sounds like a bad, like a dream, like the Dreamcast of Smash Bad. Yeah. Richard Scarry's Duke Nukem 3D. <laughs> so, from what I can tell of what I played this earlier, you don't, <laughs> you don't move in 3D. You just kind of slide left and right, and that's really weird. Something has killed Alex. Damn, I'm good. <laughs> Okay, there's a shoot button, there's a change weapon button. Oh yeah, you can you can use the foot if you want. Uh, let's stay with the pistol. Oh, you can shoot in different directions. Look at that. Mm -hmm. So so to uh, to get around the fact that you can't actually turn within a 3D space, they just have you shoot left and right. Also, the draw distance is really short. I think we can go in here. I think I have to select the foot actually. Yeah. Yeah. D will change the thing that changes weapons opens doors. It says. Okay. So you have to hold forward and try to walk in. And then, yeah, you got. It. I got you. Slowly, this is making sense. So all you Duke fans, bet you're jealous right now, huh? Let's see. Uh... Chad says he's voiced by John St. Yon. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Ugh. Damn, this daylight savings really fucked me up. It actually did fuck me up. <laughs> it did, yeah, it fucked me up too. That's why we didn't have a stream on Monday. So what do you do when you have dudes behind you? I guess just outrun them? Mm -hmm. where, where is it? <laughs> Give me cola. Can you cook? Yeah. Okay, can't go through there. How about through here? There you go. Okay. Yeah, let's let's kick him. That's gonna work. <laughs> oh, it worked. Cool. This is not the Duke I remember. This isn't even the Duke from the Sega Genesis, th that version made by Tech Toy. I would prefer that to this. This is a... Oh, wow! Did you see that? Yes. That happened automatically. Okay, I'm gonna push up right now. That's what happens when you push up. You automatically turn to go around corners, and that's what happened when you push down. Yeah, wow, that's, that's a really interesting way of implementing a 3D world, Gamecom. This is... Also, you accidentally end up changing your weapon all the time because of the buttons. Why is there so many freaking enemies? You'd think well... with all the graphical downgrades they'd try to, you know, take it easy on you, but... <laughs> oh my god. Did you hear that? Yes! <sighs> it's like, yeah. And I'm like, yeah, mood. Duke's giving us a crank phone call. Oh, it's a it's a it's a bubbler, a water fountain. Did you know they call it a bubbler in some places here in the states? What? Where? I'm never going there. Probably the north. Ugh, disgusting. Yeah, I know. Bubblers, get out. <laughs> it's the northeast okay. in Minnesota. Oh, I'm sorry. I guess when you get cold, you just start calling things whatever you want. Oh, we're in the movie theater. Look. See? Look at all these seats. Oh, this is a this is an interesting way to make this look 3D. <laughs> you know what? That's powerful tortoise. That's why I've always that's why I've always said that Pittsburgh is officially like it's not technically like I, I don't count it as part of the North for some reason. I don't know. I just think of Pittsburgh and I'm like I did it. Yo, shit! You did I beat the level. I will not continue this Pittsburgh conversation, but I appreciate Pittsburgh. <laughs> and now we're sending Duke to death row to pay for his crimes. <laughs> oh my god. What was that one really bad Duke Nukem that LGR played? Was that the Gizmondo version? Ooh, maybe. It's, that might be worse than this one, but probably not. I'm just trying to think of anything that would be comparable to this, and... Really, no other first-person shooter I can think of tries to turn the first-person part into 
into that, <laughs> into the whole automatically navigating corners and stuff. Damn, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> Also, his voice is killing me. Damn, I need a I cough just, drop. I, I can't get over it. Looks like it's a night cool night for me. <laughs> there was... There was no reason for him to say that. He just said that out of nowhere at random. Just doom. Damn indeed. Uh, let's see. Scarf is messed up. Duke's batteries are dying. Uh... <laughs> Want some bird seed? Damn, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> How is this game still here? I don't know. I don't know either, but. We have shown you the big heavy hitters for the system, the ports, the the games that most people played. Uh, if any Gamecom games people spent time with, it's these that we showed off. Second half of our show, we're going to do a good old-fashioned lightning round. We're okay. going to play the rest of them. We played like half a dozen so far, and we have to get through the rest of the library, so maybe a dozen games in about an hour. I think we can do that. In the meantime, Alex has compiled a... <laughs> oh, well, a thing. I don't, why don't you explain it while I shut this emulator down? Okay, can I uh, hit control or? Let me. Okay. Okay, I'm muted. Okay. So, um, we've got a collection of um, ads for Tiger's uh, handheld stuff that wasn't the game com. Because uh, they did quite a few of those. They did like uh, just dedicated uh, LCD games. So we've got those commercials plus a commercial for the game com that I think exemplifies. Both the '90s and why this was a fail to a system that was like failed from the beginning because pretty there's... much yeah. So enjoy this look at what Tiger was doing towards the end of 1990s, and we'll see y'all in about ten minutes. See you there. Welcome back to our Gamecom extravaganza, where if you don't own a Gamecom, you are stupid. I know it's harsh, but that's the truth. <laughs> what do you think of that last commercial? Idiots, morons, <laughs> you fools, you clowns. <laughs> Also, I think that compilation may have answered a few questions people have had about Tiger, because they didn't have the chops to make good game consoles or, you know, games that were worth playing, but they did have an ad budget, and oh my god, did they ever use it. There was also the fact that they ported literally everything. You had movies like the re-released Snow White and Pocahontas got, uh, got Tiger handhelds. They ported Sega 3D arcade games, Daytona USA, just like the arcade, Virtua Fighter, and they cut in, like, footage from the actual games they were porting, because, oh, man. <laughs> I want to thank Battlehawk for resubscribing. They've been subscribed. Oh, wow. Uh, well, it was a lot of months in a row. It kind of scrolled up there. But um, they subscribed with the message, 90s marketing, butthead. Totally. And then uh, Elfbutt just subscribed. Thank you. And uh, Danny, Dino Hard subscribed nine months in a row. And they say nine months. That's almost as long as the Gamecom lasted. <laughs> yeah. A longer lasting subscription than the Gamecom and itself. And yep, you can't spell it Gamecom or it turns into a nasty little hyperlink. Mm -hmm. And it takes you to a... What is it? A uh, gaming platform that works on the blockchain? Uh-huh. Yeah, if you go to game.com <laughs> right now, it takes you to a blockchain-powered game console. And the main highlight of that page is a broken video that doesn't play. Mm -hmm. Pretty cool. Thanks to all the subscribers. Thanks to everyone who tuned in. And I hope you enjoyed that look back at the 90s. You know, sometimes I don't miss the 90s. I, I honestly don't. Either. Idiot! Moron! Fool! Clown! Clawed! piece of shit i hate you buy my product or die <laughs> now they're all just like hey we know you have serious mental health issues that can't be addressed by the decaying system we live in and we here at kfc are here to say we are also depressed mm -hmm. please yeah. follow us on twitter listen please support kfc's indiegogo <laughs> oh that's really happening yeah, it was a time in the 90s. It was a time to consume, consume, consume. And Tiger LCD handhelds were big sellers for a while. They made a whole bunch of them. They sold like crazy. It's because of the commercials, man. They were all in your face, showing you all the possibilities. Who could blame them? And they wanted to cash in on the Game Boy by making their own competitor, the Gamecom. And we're going to continue our look through the library as we finish up tonight's stream. Oh, everyone, post and feet. <laughs> That's good. I'm glad.
<laughs> that's what we need right now in America. Well, it is M foot. It is M foot. Oh, that's true. Yeah, yeah. The the mighty foot. That's what the M stands for. Uh, people have been saying feet all this whole time, and I've been ignoring them out of the goodness of my heart. But now <laughs> I have to address it. So we're going to get right back into the shit because our next game is Fighters Mega Mix, another game ported directly from the Sega Saturn and landing here on the Tiger Game Com just for you. Why don't you unmute right now? Oh, why? Thank you. Oh, no, I actually don't. No. <laughs> Sorry about that. It's okay. Load the test kernel. Okay, I think you can yeah. actually unmute now. Whenever it goes half season. Yeah, season it's, it's after I load the kernel. I'm glad we figured that out halfway through the stream. Mighty number feet. <laughs> I am gone. I am dead. And you are all banned. So, Fighters Mega Mix, a game for the Sega Saturn that essentially combined Virtua Fighter and Fighting Vipers, along with including a whole bunch of guest characters. Unfortunately, those characters need to be unlocked in this version, so you won't see any of the crazy characters. But let's see what this game has to offer. Yeah, I'm sad to say that the Daytona car is a playable character in this game, but you have to unlock it. Boo! But you can play as Bon and Pi. Ah, the classic Virtua Fighter theme. Hold on, let me listen. <laughs> Again, let us know if this audio is too loud or not. But I think you want to hear this. There was a two-player mode, Alex. You could link up to another GameCom. Yes, you could actually even play online with the GameCom. Damn. I mean, damn. <laughs> Let's play as Candy. All now right. you get all these different courses you can go through, and you can see the last one ends with the Daytona USA car. All right, I gotta turn it up. Okay, are you sure? That The chat is saying, too quiet, can't hear shit. Uh, yeah. Can't hear the audio. Okay, go ahead and bump it up a little bit. It's your funeral. Yeah, y'all are... You asked for this. Just just remember that. You asked for this. There, I'm gonna too loud. There you go. Do I have control again? Uh... Please hurry. I'm doing it. Thank you. There you go. Oh, Candy's clothes came off. Look what you did. Yeah, the big thing of this game, like in Fighting Vipers, was that you have armor that can be smashed off of you at any point. And as any Fighting Vipers fan can tell you, I'm sure Devil Ray is all in the chat right now being all like, Wow, this is arcade perfect! Amazing! <laughs> wow, I somehow died there. Let's go ahead and give that another try. BBH is all like, Wow, I can't believe they put all the arcade action on a single cartridge. Amazing. That's actually on the back of the box. Alright, let's uh, see what Cass has to say about this. Okay. Uh, yes, this conversion in does, in fact, retain the Hornet from Daytona USA as an unlockable character. You can still play as Janet from Virtual Cop 2 with her gun as a special attack, which absolutely breaks this game in much the same way it does on other consoles. That's great. I'm glad they included Janet as well, because, yeah, the, uh, she's a Virtual Cop character, so she just brings a gun into the ring and can do incredible damage. But who needs that when you're candy and you just keep pushing a button? Ready. Go. Ready. Doop -doop -boop -boop. <laughs> so it kind of looks like Fighting Vipers. It's got the floaty jumps. Uh, it's got the armor breaking moves. I assume all of Candy's attacks are here, of course, because why wouldn't they be? Can you make the Hornet lose their shirt? I would hope so. Oh man, get to see the undercarriage. <laughs> Actually, way I'm going, we might see the Hornet pretty soon. Oh my god, Danny. Don't forget, we've got like... Oh, oh yeah, god, so many games. we have a lot of games, but a lot of them are like mini games, so we can just blast right through them. <clears throat> I'm hoping to really show off the uh, the ports and stuff. Yeah, exactly. Bring this to Evo, you cowards. Oh, they don't even have the candy pantsu? What a, sa what a shame. She just died in midair, did you see that? <laughs> yes. I stood up in midair and then just flopped on the ground. I'm with everyone else. I want to see. I want to see Hornet's chassis. You know I, I think mean? we're gonna see that car in a second. Mm. Get ready for some hot and heavy action. Va va vroom, if you know what I mean. Bring your motor oil. 
I'm disgusted with myself for saying that. <laughs> no, you're not. All right, this is the fight before the Hornet. We're going to get there in record time. Oh, I'm actually excited for Quiz Whiz because I, I had one of those, like, not, not the Gamecom version, but, like, the handheld version as a child, and, yeah. I was all about that Quiz Whiz. Oh, I thought this had air combos. That would have been great. <laughs> no bad game, Hall of Fame. You meant what you said. You meant to combine Hornet and Horny there. But yeah, we may not have picked the right route for uh, Hornet. Come on. Double KO! The, fight, the Fighters Mega Mix Game Com match went well. I can't believe this shit. Oh, this is working. This is working great. Oh, that I saw it. I saw the, the panty shine. Okay, right. it does have that at least. Wait, round four? Round four? Where was... <laughs> Wait! Doesn't count! Kick his ass! Wait a minute! <laughs> Y'all, where'd the third round go? <laughs> oh shit, don't beat me. Please don't beat me. People want to see the car. They're getting horny for the car. They're so excited for the goddamn car! Shit. Well, let's go to round five. I okay, no, we don't get a round five. <laughs> that showed it showed one win mark under Akira's name up there. It, he only won one match. The rules don't <laughs> apply here on the Gamecom. Two people just said honk if you're horny at once, so here we go. Ah, <laughs> uh, we're we're in good company here. Everyone's slamming on the horn. The game dot Calvin Paul. <laughs> Thank you. Just making up the rules here. Oh, he disappeared. Cool. <laughs> I punched him out of existence. Y'all, this is a again. This is just a reminder. This is a Wednesday. Yeah. This uh. Well. Whatever. You can do what you. Jesus. He nearly just. Nice ninety percent damage combo there, Akira. Okay. Now we got this. Let's do this. I'm gonna pound on that kick button. If you come close, you will get kicked. I told you. Revenant, if you make a Gamecom demo, I will, I will, I don't know, but it will be, it will be, I, I will fall, I, yes, do it. I, I can't yeah, think please. of a funny joke to say, so please. By all means. No, no, don't you do it. Don't you do it. Don't you freaking... Why won't you turn around? <laughs> okay, last try. We gotta kill this guy quick. Is there any homebrew on the, the game come? Not that I know of. You know, Revenant, I don't no. think so. Revenant, if you don't know how to... Please don't make a demo for this if you don't want well, to. Well, there is an emulator with a full disassembler, so... If you really want to do that, that's a thing you could do. I made him disappear again. Ready. Go. Ready. The reason why you're doing so poorly is that after you die, you don't get your armor back. Unlike Kira, who's like... Oh, that's right! Yeah! She's still missing her armor! What a bunch of crap! This is crap. Alright, this is the last round. If I lose here, we're gonna have to move on. Ready. I'm sure there's footage somewhere of the car in action. It's already been posted. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I can't, I, I didn't click on it because I, did, I want you to win, but yeah, I was posted in chat. I want to win too. Uh, I think it was Uzi who posted that, or whoever posted that, please put that in the Discord so I can see it. Thank you. Yeah, let us all enjoy the car. Alright, Akira has been disappeared. It's time to fight the car. It's been vanished. Oh, there he oh, is! Oh, there he is! What? No! No, wrong path, babe. Wow. Yeah, Uzi was this stream is a disaster. Honking. Well, go look up that footage if you want, and be sure to honk if you're horny. That's all I want. More like honk if you're hungry. <laughs> I'm pretty hungry. I'm, hung I'm hungry for some good deals on video games. <laughs> and I bet you can get that with a game conk. Alright, Dan, I think it's time to move on. Alright, let's... Okay, hit your, hit your mute button. <laughs> We're dividing up com keyboard duties now across <laughs> two keyboards. No, no joking. So next up, what can possibly follow up Fighters Mega Mix? How about Frogger? 
You want to play some Frogger? Yes, I certainly do. I love Frog. Hangry Man Dinner. Oh yes. shit, I didn't load the kernel. Uh. Okay. Fancy. Welcome to Gamecom. This is one of the final releases coming out in 1999. Also one of two third-party games, as was mentioned before. Konami actually went all in on the Gamecom with one game. So maybe it wasn't all in. Oh, you can flip the screen? Look at that! You can turn it upside down if you oh, want. Oh, that's cool. Why would you ever want to do that? Not a bad rendition of the Frogger theme, either. I want to see the updated version of Frogger. Hmm. Hey, this looks good! This I... looks like Frog... I have seen worse. Oh, shit. Okay, now I want to see the classic mode. I have to kill off all the frogs. Alright, that was updated. I'm not used to that one. Mm -mm. But I'm going back to my, my old stomping grounds here all in right. the swamp. Alright, uh, Cass says, The other third-party game developed... Uh, the other third-party developed game.com title, and another arcade conversion at that. Far more well-produced than its sister Centipede, and quite possibly one of the best titles the Sorry Hardware has to offer. Congrats, Gamecom! It only took an outside studio reproducing an 18-year-old arcade game for your portable console to bring it one of its best pieces of software. Well, you know what? I, I can't argue with that. This plays pretty well. It's hard to mess this up, especially when you have an actual D-pad. And I assume the screen would make this unplayable due to blur, but... Man, you gotta take what you can get. This is no Fighter's Mega Mix, I'll say that much. So right at the end, it got a semi-playable version of Frogger, an was, ancient arcade game. I was gonna say, it looks normal and good. It does! You could play this. It's got a decent pace to it. There's no weird blurring or Duke saying, Derm. Hey, but that that may have been the emulator's fault, but... <laughs> yeah, I, I still care. like that. I think I prefer to any, like, sped-up version, honestly. The du yeah, the Duke voice sample would normally be much faster, but the simulator, it's a, it's a blessed thing. That's Frogger. Why don't you mute me? Let's mute ya. Boo! Ripperini. Next up... I think we're getting to, through these as a good clip now. Mm-hmm. Oh, you know what? Why not let's try the Gamecom internet? Woo! Because that's a good idea. Let's connect to the internet. Alright, Cass says, This separately sold cartridge, when further paired with a $50 modem peripheral and subscription to Tiger's Delphi, ISP allow... ISP, allows you to surf the World Wide Web in wonderfully text-only fashion, as well as check your email. On the go, in some manner of speaking. This is assuming that you own the original model of Game.com as well, as a Pocket Pro hardware revision gave the axe to the System Com port and rendered all this effectively impossible to use. Oh yeah, they did reissue it and got rid of the, the modem port, and also the thing doesn't work, so fuck it. Okay. Gonna hazard a guess here and say that all went pretty much unused from the get-go? Novel as hell, though. What do you say we play Henry instead? Yes. What's Henry? Well, according to Cass, it, uh, Henry, uh, they say, based on one of Tiger's electronic toy lines, you're effectively given a picture sound matching puzzle utilizing the GameCom's touchscreen. As basic as basic can be, but a fine thesis statement on what the hardware at hand was probably best suited for. I already unmuted. Hopefully that didn't break it. No, it doesn't. Okay. Henry. Yeah. An actual tiger thing that got a port to the Gamecom. Henke? Henke! <laughs> Henke. Yeah. Henke. Henke. Ooh, listen to that. Whoa, this music. Get funky. Oh dear god, this is controlled with the touchscreen. Why, sure why not just kill me now? You want me to do it? No. Okay. Mm, okay. Actually, yeah, why don't you do this since you have an actual mouse? Okay. Uh, I think you need to press a button on your controller. Uh. Yeah, tap something. Maybe the Henry button?
Welcome to hell, everyone. What the fuck is this? We're we're in hell. You took us to hell. That's not the noise a compass makes. <laughs> compass International, how may I help you? <laughs> Strawberry. Okay. Okay, I think that was here. Yeah, do it. Ah! Yeah, that's, that's the sound the Arc de Triomphe man makes. <laughs> Try her again. <laughs> yeah, that's a man noise, baby. That's the sound I make. <sighs> and then the computer gets to play. Why does it... Okay. <laughs> okay, I like that. Why is he? You click on Duke and he goes, "Dum." Okay, last last try and then I'll. Yeah, that one. Okay, it's this one. Mm hmm. You got one, Henry. You win. <laughs> Should I should we go on? Change no, games? no. Let's 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 move on. Okay. Good job, Alex. Thank you. You beat you the game. That's Henry, a source for horrific digitized sound effects. If you want to scare small children, load up Henry for the Gamecom oh, in I the love simulator. That. Next up, Indy Five Hundred. Oh, good, a racing game. What do we have to say about Indy Five Hundred? Well, uh, Cass says. Vroom! May cause mild to severe motion sickness if you try to picture it with the level of ghosting the actual game comp screen provided. Cool. Let's run it. I pushed it already. You're distracted. Cartridge. It's an official product of the Indianapolis 500. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> start your engines. We got car A, car B, car C. Are they any different? Well, Electric Boogaloo says that this... Uh... Automatic transmission. Ladies and gentlemen, start your engines. Yeah, that sounded pretty good. The race begins. Go. Here we go. Yeah, and this electric boogaloo oh, mentioned. God. This is apparently the only port this uh, arcade game ever got. Oh, it's based on the arcade game. Yes. That's a that's a Sega game, right? Mm hmm Oh my God. Well, what better system than this one? This sure is an interesting way to produce a racing game. We're here live at the Indianapolis 500, where... Oh. It's a disaster. Everyone forgot how to drive here at the Indy 500. Yeah, everyone's like, stop, stop crashing into the pace car. <laughs> It won't. He's hogging the road. Look, I can't get around this guy. Well, maybe he's a pace car and you're not supposed to. What's he there for? Where are my missiles? Don't shoot the pace car. <laughs> Alex, I think this kind of sucks. Oh, I finished. 33, huh? Well, at least I wasn't in 33rd place. <laughs> All right, here we go. Rolling start. Uh, excuse me. Rolling start. Indy, let's go away. <laughs> let's go away. What the fuck is going on? I can't pass anyone. The second I try to pass someone, I end up 
gliding into the, the rails. Oh. This might- oh, I passed someone! This could be the worst racing game I've ever played. This plays real badly. Maybe I should be using manual transmission. I think that's the problem. Mm -hmm. You're in fourth place. Oh, cool. Yeah, there are puddles of vomit on the track, which I think is pretty impressive. Yeah, why didn't they clean that up? Uh, you know, they didn't have any time. They sure don't care about the drivers. Wow. I don't like this. Uh, Indy 500. At least they didn't port Daytona USA. That would have been a hell of a thing to see. Okay, I'll let you have control over your, uh, the, the volume, since that's what we agreed. Yes, that was in our prenup. Alex has control of muting and unmuting the volume on Gamecom games. Next up is technically Jeopardy, but that's the one game this emulator does not support, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. And I have to get a real Gamecom for that one. After However, that... we could play Lights Out. Oh, I hate this fucking game. Yeah, me too. I had the, uh... Oh, this one needs an offset too, so it may not actually work. Nope. Maybe well, maybe they mean 8,000 instead of 80,000. Maybe. Let's try it one more time. Go on. I was going to say, Cass says of Lights Out, the Gamecom's famous packing cartridge and another software conversion of a pre-existing physical toy line produced and sold by Tiger. One of those light puzzle games that sees you trying to activate every tile on the board while every move you make toggles your surrounding spaces as well. You've... You've played some variation on this before. It's fine as a pack-in in any in as any for the hardware at hand here. Okay, this might load, or it might not. That's right. Oh, it loads. Lights Out was a pack-in for this thing, and it does make good use of the touchscreen. I'll give it that. Um, this music? No, I'm, sh I'm putting in my other... Yeah. This is lounge core. Oh, I love this, Danny. So if you don't know what Lights Out is, it's, uh, this. Let's select puzzle number one. Now, when you click one of these, one of these things, it changes all the ones that are around it. Like that. See? Yeah, I had the, uh, my, pa my parents had the physical, uh, version of this, and I played the shit out of it, and I hated it but my my mom's wife loved it so yeah this is a very frustrating game seen often in resident evil and other survival horror puzzle games yep whenever you put one out another one lights up and before you know it you've screwed yourself mm -hmm. good i didn't want you to work anyway the game stopped working <laughs> You get the idea. It's <laughs> it's that game. That game no one likes. Oh, man. Chat was like, no, you, you missed the solution. No, no, Danny. And, yeah, <laughs> oh, it must have been to... torture watching me play that. Mm -hmm. Well, how about Monopoly? Ooh. How does that one work? Well, let's see. Cass says, pass and play Monopoly for up to six players. Good luck getting that party together. Functional enough by my estimation, but I'd be lying if I told you I played more than a minute of this to see if it worked or not. I'm sure someone out there was glad to have this on the go back in 1998. And bless their heart for it. Alright, let's play some Monopoly. I prefer Monopoly Gamer Edition, personally. You know what sucks? You're not wrong. It actually is. That one is really fun. It's I gave that to Alex for Christmas as a Christmas present. <laughs> yeah, Gamer Monopoly has Mario and Yoshi and Donkey Kong. It's much better than regular Monopoly. Wow, look at him go. Oh man, he's so fast. He's dancing. I'm a human, player two's a computer. What's your name? Gonna go with what's simple. Oh, Greedy Granny. Greedy Granny! Connie Cashola, that's what they call me. Oh, they give you all the pieces? Including the thimble, which is being unfairly taken out of new versions because millennials don't consider it relatable or something. Fucking... Rest in peace, thimble. Wrong. Tons of millennials make fursuits. They all know what the fuck the thimble is. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. 
I think I think that it's Monopoly who doesn't who's, understand things. Who's player two? Eggman? Oh, uh, G, G Gran. Gran. Okay. Or Eggman. Whoever you want. Ugh. He's just he's just tossing me he's all over the board. Stop moving, dude. Okay, it's got some good animations in here. Pretty detailed look at the board. I will buy Oriental Avenue. Sold to ass. Rat's ass. Congrats. Wow. Are people talking about what they main in Monopoly? Dark Tessia mains the car. Yeah, I gotta be the dog. Oh man, there used to be fights over the dog when I was fucking when I would play as a kid. I never played as a dog. I was always a thimble because you could put it on your finger and it felt cool because it was like a little real thimble. Yeah, exactly. I wouldn't pick the thimble, but I would uh, mess with it while I played. The, the iron is so disrespected. Thank you for loving the iron. Electric company. You bought the electric company. It's now owned by Greedy Grandma. Sounds about right. Hmm. Well, you know what? I think this is Monopoly. Uh, God, Honk. it's just blasting Chad every few minutes. <laughs> Sorry, I farted right into the microphone. That was Ugh. very rude. It's okay, disgusting. you can go ahead and mute us. All right. Monopoly. Well, we've only got a handful of games left here. You're seeing now there's not much outside the big heavy hitters everyone talks about. A lot of these games aren't really worth mentioning. Here's one that is... Mortal Kombat Trilogy. Ooh. Now, you, if you were looking at this system and thinking, damn, I sure want a Mortal Kombat game for this thing, well, you're in luck, Duke. All right, unmute me. Mortal Kombat Trilogy for N64, PlayStation 1, and GameCom. Let's see how it works. I haven't actually seen this one. I'm very curious to see what this looks like. Boom. All right, Cass says, when your attempt at demaking Mortal Kombat includes ninja template characters, but somehow manages to forget Sub-Zero and Scorpion of all the potential characters to include from that sub roster, you're probably gone and made a few mistakes in your planning. Oh, yeah, what the hell? It's got rain, but not Scorpion or Sub-Zero? Mm -mm. Surprisingly, fe surprisingly features fatalities, brutalities, friendships, and babalities for whatever all that's worth given this presentation. Still <laughs> it lets you play as the bosses. Still better than the original Game Boy Mortal Kombat or Mortal Kombat 4 on the Game Boy Color, for that matter. It has Reptile and Rain, but not Scorpion or Sub-Zero. That's hilarious. And that's it has hard. both the robots that replace the ninjas in MK3. Oh, that's... what a lineup. Yeah, this is a real crusty system. It totally is. I think they brought back Johnny Cage for MK Trilogy, but he's not in here. We just have Jade, Melina, Katana... Uh, let's play the Centaur. Oh boy. Oh boy. I guess it was a little bit too much to expect music, huh? Uh, do you want me to put on like... No, Here. we're good. We're good. Are you sure I can imitate the, uh, I can imitate the, sea the, the soundtrack? Hey, Johnny Cage is not afraid to die. <laughs> oh, Mighty Ninja Warrior. Your heart's so cold. Sub-Zero. All right, there's a punch, a kick, and a block, believe it or not. And I think button four is a run. Right? No, it's, it's, a, it's a different kick for some reason. One, one punch, two kicks, one block. That's what you get with the buttons. Now, normally, Motaro would be destroying everyone because he does a ridiculous amount of damage, but this is the game com, and we're just going to have to do what works. Oh, this is so sad. I saw Nightwolf had uh, a special move. That'd be cool if I had one of those. You, you might. That was excellent. Let's see if I can win this. Now the question is, is this better than Fighters Mega Mix? I'm not sure if I'm prepared to answer that. 
I'd say they're about the same. They play very differently, but they're about the same quality. That's all I'm going to say about that. At least this one does have the aggressor meter. That's something they added for MK Trilogy. Yeah, what the fuck is that? <laughs> one! He didn't even fall down! Oh, man. This is sad. This is so sad. Alex, should we move on? Yeah, let's move on. Mortal Kombat Trilogy. That's so sad. So sad. Mute me. Mute it. Oof. 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 Oog. Oof. That's all I gotta say. Oh, I'm excited for what's next. Quiz Whiz. Cyber Trivia. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, I love Quiz Whiz. It has an amazing box. Everybody, someone look up the Quiz Whiz box uh, for TigerGame.com and post it in chat if you could. Yeah, the box design is great because the front is just a face popping out of a TV and the back of the box shows the dude putting his face through the TV from behind. It's very, it's very high concept. Mm -hmm. All right, unmute me. There we go. Let's become the cyber champion of Quiz Whiz. Yeah, this one. Cyber Quiz Whiz, though. Yeah, Cyber Quiz Whiz. This guy looks like me and I fucking hate it. He kind of does. Yo, I'm a wise guy. I've only had seven beers. We could totally do this. Uh, Cass Calls says about this game, a beautiful time capsule of 90s trivia, a bit in a pretty visually auditori auditorially unappealing package. This is the sort of thing that Tiger could have continued to repurpose and repackage with new sets of quiz questions and themes and maybe found a sort of niche audience for, but alas. Quiz was actually did have different packs. It was a console, as a handheld thing. And you can get different knowledge packs for it and stuff, if I recall. That's cool. It was actually really neat. I'm going to go for famous people. Uh, not film and TV? Oh, that, that might actually work better. I do remember 90s TV and film. Ooh, Let's do too. this. My answer is The Mask. <laughs> Next question, my answer is Jim Carrey as The Mask. <laughs> All right, Patty Duke won her, her award playing, what is it? Uh, I'm gonna Anne say Sullivan? Patsy Cline. What was it? Well, we'll see. Oh, you have to hit enter. Okay. And also, it was Her Helen Keller. <laughs> Whatever happened to Baby Jane, anyways? Uh, that would be. Ooh. Better hurry. Uh, John Crawford? No, it's about John Crawford. I'm an idiot. It was. No. Airball. <laughs> What? He called you a hairball. It was it was Betty Davis. I should have known that. Danny, what is this? Robert Duvall's film debut was as which character was... in To Kill a Mockingbird? Yes. Eat Bay Atticus? None of these are 90s, by the way. It's kind of pissing me off. Yeah. None of this is cyber. No way. No way. It was Boo Radley, dude. Ah. Oh, chat's yelling no at us. Fair enough. None of this is 90s! Hey, you kids. You up on your Paul Newman trivia? No brainer. Is that... Okay, now that, was... that meant it was wrong. <laughs> oh, I know this Unplugged, one. Unplugged, God! Electrified. <laughs> Mellow. It was supposed to be a three-hour tour, mm -hmm. as we remember from the 90s. We have a winner! Ooh, ooh, that would be Al. Al Borland. <laughs> now you're speaking my language. Bingo! I even dress like him. I am called the fuck out. Sarah Gilbert's actress sister. Uh, Melissa Gilbert? I'm thinking Melissa Gilbert, too. Please be Melissa. Okay, that seems like... American All right, Bandstand. Get up on your Dick Clark trivia. Good answer! Thank you.
Oh, who oh, knows this? You got you got to be this. You got to tell me this one. Um 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 Hogwarts isn't real. Uh uh You blew it. He's going to tell you you blew it. Oh god, we're being aerial striked. Great, we just got droned. Thanks, Alex. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All cuz you didn't know a different world. I deserved it. We got 5 out of 10. <laughs> Well, that one has some pretty good animations and voice clips. I'll give it that. Um, as for the interface, not so great. Uh, so, in conclusion, one of the best Gamecom games we've ever played. I do want to exit. Oh, exit back to the BIOS. Oh, okay. that rules. All right, mute me. This This is a hell of a thing. I'm not sure what I expected from the rest of this library, but I'm not finding it. we got to find something good. We gotta find Scrabble. Ooh, uh, Cass actually has a nice lengthy write-up about this one. Uh, let's see. Cass says about Scrabble... <clears throat> let me sit up here. Uh, let me take a drink here. It's kind of long. Cass says... <clears throat> it's Scrabble. Okay, let's do it. Let's play some Scrabble. Y'all like to scrab? I love scrabbing. I've been known to scrab on occasion. All right, a 1999 release, so one of the very last ones. I guess Hasbro bought Tiger. They tried one game, and then when that didn't work, they just shut the whole thing down. It's Scrabble. Scrabble. I'm a human. All right, good luck. That's my name. Good name. Your name is worth four, eight, and thirteen. Thirteen Man. point name. I got a high score in name. Yeah, let's do it. All right, let's do it. Oh, you're really making me use the touch screen and the D pad. <laughs> I'm so sorry. You want me to spell out a word? No word created. Uh, how about, I said, how about, how about, <laughs> I just want to spell the word up. Is this, that so hard? The simulator is from 1998. I just want to mention that again. Yeah, this may not be entirely accurate. I'm not having any luck with this. Uh, use your imagination. This is Scrabble. Wow, what a great Scrabble port. Amazing. Pretend we spelled out plum. Yeah, I should have spelled out uplog. <laughs> Not much. What's up with you? <laughs> All right, mute me. We're getting towards the end here. Uh, we're going to find some gold at the end of this rainbow, I'm sure. Oh, shit, we could have spelled glomp. Damn. Damn, we were so close. Okay, it looks like we have, like, five games left, so let's just blast on through them. Right. Next up, we got The Lost World, Jurassic Park. All right, Cass says, maybe the most ambitious title on the game, Com, as it shifts between frust frustrating behind-the-back driving sequences and also frustrating platforming similar to the 16-bit titles. I, for one, would love to know what the hell is going on with the rifle as seen in the side-scrolling perspective. No worries if you can't stomach making it to that point past the motorcycle. We okay, won't. so so it's a multi-genre kind of thing. Mm -hmm. That sounds great. Let's do this. The Lost World, starring Jeff Goldblum. And a little girl who does acrobatics on dinosaurs. That was... That's uh, that's that one, right? Not yeah. the third one? Okay. Yeah, that was the one with the girl who, who did all the cool Gymnasti acrobatics. Gymnastics, gymnastics, that's what it is. Yeah. <laughs> I'm in love. No. Seems pretty good so far. Okay, are oh, we... plays Harding. Okay. Are we Harding or Timbo? What the fuck is Timbo? Timbo's the badass elephant. Let's play as him. <laughs> Area 1, Stegosaurus. Oh, we want a Humvee or a decked out Humvee? Oh. Or a Humvee snagger. Look at this. Oh my god, you think Humvee paid money for this? Or I a hope motorcycle. They did. Yeah, look at this. Humvee Mark 1, Mark 2, Mark 3, motorcycle. Oh no, no, we're getting the yeah. Yeah, we got to go. We're we got to get loaded for bear or stegosaurus. Oh, what the fuck? Hey! <laughs> hey! <laughs> Guys, give me a chance. <laughs> Where's everyone going? <laughs> Come back, guys! <laughs> oh, 
What the fuck was that? What the hell did I just play? All right, let's be let's be the motorcycle. That's maybe we better, may, yeah. maybe we need to outrun these things. All right, here we go. We're hauling ass now. Oh, we actually are outrunning them. Slugs. What's that sound supposed to be? Dinosaur? Yes, a stegosaurus. Arr, I'm a stegosaurus. Oh, hey, you got the platforming. Oh, dear God. What did I do to deserve this? Shit, get... Ah! Get out of there. Just shoot the damn thing. Take that. <laughs> it gets up? God. Ah! This definitely has, yeah, yeah, I'm with Uzi. This has the real LCD game feel. I like how you just lie down, like, uh uh. Mm -hmm. He's just gonna take a nap. Well, I mean, it's like if you, it's like if you, it's like if you meet a bear, you're supposed to, like, just lie flat and dead. Okay, I know we have some Cuso Grande representatives watching this stream. Uh, let me just suggest this game for future entry in Cuso Grande. Yes, please. I think this would be, this would be pretty good. It being a multi genre kind of thing. I think this would be uniquely frustrating and awful, therefore a good fit for the show. <laughs> Please consider it. Anyway, I'm out of ammunition, so the guy can't even shoot anymore. Oh my god! It does there you go. You just got some. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's been my reaction to everything I've played tonight. Oh. Oh my god, who said he looks like Doonesbury? He does look like Doonesbury. He does. Trouble you are. Oh my god, that makes us even... Doonesbury goes dinosaur hunting. Oh, this rules. This is us. There are no shortage of dinos in this game. <laughs> Please put this in Kusa. <laughs> yeah, if you can get this actually running. It's kind of a chore. Yeah, graphically, I think this game looks pretty fucking good for what it is. Yeah, it it's not really bad. Nice. It's nicely detailed. It's just... Oh man, once it gets in motion. I still don't know what that one sound effect is supposed to be. <laughs> I know what that one is, that's me. Oh. Why do you play this? What a day! <laughs> oh, you gotta get the eggs! I see what it is. There's a radar in the lower left pointing you towards the eggs. And you have an egg counter. Ugh. That, we gotta play this game more at length sometimes. Yeah, yeah, I do want to return to this. That sample, whatever it is, it sounds like someone's trying to start up a lawnmower and it just won't go. Oh, you can climb! That's it, I've beaten the game. <laughs> really? No iframes? Thanks. Guy just tries to sit up and then just... Oh my god, what?! This is huge cool. dino! This is cool, Danny. I'm gonna shoot him in the butt. This Give me those fun. eggs. I want those eggs. <laughs> that's that's the Lost World Jurassic Park. We we gotta finish this up before I lose it. I'm about to lose all my shit right yeah. on stream. Yeah, let's move on. Uh, if I were to sum up my feelings on that game, it would be oh, Ugh. oh. Let's go to the Tiger Casino. All right, cast us of Tiger Casino. You know, we are here at Casino, and everyone says, Gosh, you're a casino. We should gamble. Let me tell you something, man. You don't want to play cards with me, because I'll cheat. Okay, I cheat. You want to play 21? I got 22. <laughs> you want to play Blackjack? I got two of those. You want to play Aces and Eights? Baby, I've got too many of those. You do not gamble with me. Thank you for, uh... Thank you, uh, Jake the Snake Roberts, also yes. known as Cast from Bad Game Hall of Fame. <laughs> Wisdom passed down through the ages. Let's move on to... Let's do it. Casino. Welcome to the Tiger Casino for entertainment purposes only. Tiger Casino. <laughs> that was cool. Why is there a dinosaur? They just ripped that dinosaur from Jurassic Park. I love it. No, 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 no. It's good. It's good. <laughs> Look at the things coming out of the slot. Okay, machine. okay. No, no. We gotta do some slots. No, All right. no, no, no. Wow. Okay. They did 
they did the Pac-Man uh, thing, but with a dinosaur instead of Pac. Oh. We gotta do T-Rex slots. Gosh, uh, what a choice! How could we ever possibly T-Rex slots? Spend all our money. Let's pull it. T-Rex needs a new pair of shoes. Great. Let's try it again. Come on, baby. T-Rex wants to make a lot of money. Take it back to the Jurassic period. Get it, get rich. Jackpot. Jackpot. Congrats. We did it. Let's leave. I'm gonna put it all on black. Okay. These animations actually pretty okay. Mm -hmm. Someone with a lot of time made these animations. All these, all these gambling things are like themed after animals that will kill you. Well, you know. Yeah. Okay. Where's the? Where's the? Where's the? Can I go to the? Oh, I see. You gotta. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. all in black. These controls, not great, believe it or not. Can you, why can you only do one? Oh, Sonny, I've come here with two dollars in my pocket, and I wish to place one dollar on black. Please, <laughs> please let Grandma win her big bet for the year. Let's go, baby! Spin that wheel, Vanna! Come on, baby! We're gonna get this... Yes! Hey! Lucky 13! Grandma got Grandma it wins! Grandma doubled her earnings. Yeah! Go buy you one of them $1 buffet steaks that they have in Vegas, Grandma. You've earned it. Do they still have cheap buffets in Vegas, or do they get rid of those? They better. Why else would you go? Tiger Casino. <laughs> that's that's kind of weird. Yeah, that's okay. all I can say about that. Just a really odd way to adapt casino games. Mute me. Oh yeah, this is the greedy grandma. Oh yeah, greedy grand took her monopoly winnings to the casino. Let's try Wheel of Fortune. All right. Uh, Cass says two separate releases based on the same design with two different sets of word banks. You can assume that had the game.com and these cards had been successful, they could have continued to release further revisions and iterations on this template. As it stands, pushing their luck with two releases of Wheel of Fortune was already pretty egregious. I don't know. Like Alex was saying uh, during the commercials we were showing, Wheel of Fortune, that one LCD game, pretty popular among adults. Hugely popular. Yeah, I, I actually do remember that being a thing. It was uh, it was the thing that your aunt plays. Mm -hmm. Cool ants play Wheel of Fortune. But is it also cool on Gamecom? Let's find out. Now, do they have Pat Sajak? Do they have Vanna White? That actually sounded pretty good. Yeah. This does not. All right, I don't know if, what that says about me, but I've laughed more at this stream than most other streams we've done. <laughs> yeah, this is a very cursed stream. Oh yeah, oh that's, my that's God. me. Wow, <laughs> how'd, they, how'd they get all these pictures of me? You're all these... That guy's they from King of Fighters, come on. They would never let a contestant on with a mohawk on Wheel of Fortune. The, cast, the, the casting people would never do that. I'm going to be this guy. He looks like a software programmer. <laughs> I was going to say, he's a, he's a 90s Amiga dev. Let's spin that wheel. Love to have a controller in one hand and a keyboard in the other. Uh, uh, in. Oh. No ends. Not very impressed by the, that, those wheel graphics there. You guessed a Y? What's wrong with you? I don't know, just sound felt appropriate. You doing some coke with Pat Sajak in the back? <laughs> I don't know if he does coke. Yeah. Oh, I was thinking of Tim Allen. Never mind. Um, S. 
There is one S. Hmm. I would like to buy an E. Spin. I believe in you, Danny. You know, this seems functional, but they didn't do much to make it very exciting, did they? Well, I mean, it is the game con. Yeah, so we have high expectations. Oh, thank you. The crowd of the dead approves. Yes. It is uh, both touchscreen and uh, controller controlled. So... Oh, is it? Okay. Well, no, no, no. I, I don't know that. I, was oh. just, I thought it was. Yeah, it is. But yeah, it is uh, the only time to use a touchscreen, which means he's having to use a keyboard with a touchscreen section on it, and it is beautiful. Poor, poor Danny. <laughs> Everyone give Danny a round of applause for being a real trooper with this extremely... Yeah, except make it really slow applause like there is in this game. Okay, the, the what of America. Oh, no, it, of America? it wouldn't be the because I bought an E. The fuck is this? I gotta know what this is. Yeah, sorry everyone, I'm invested now. Oh, okay. it let me buy an A even though I already bought an A. I guess that's my own fault. Who said Q? Get Q? out of here! Really? Try I, C. I think we have a replicant among us. I'll take a Q and a Y. You lost the turn. This guy's gonna guess a letter that doesn't exist. Lambda. Z. You guessed a Z. <laughs> this guy sucks. Y, Q, and Z. All right, try a C. A C. Let's give me a C. The okay, it can't be the. Anyone got any guesses? I'd be happy to hear them. Well, I'll tell you what uh, Not Remnant says. 9-11 Truthers of America. That's pretty close. Two Breeders of America, Pig Brawlers of America. Um, two Brooders of America. Well, it's not two. <sighs> Sorry, everyone. I got invested. I have to see what this is what or I'll is never this? know. this? Writers of America. Nope. The guy just gets a W. Brothers of America? Oh, Big Brothers of America. Oh. I'd like to solve the puzzle. Not Hot Brothers of America, BBH, although that's that's <laughs> Yep, pretty... the Hot Brothers of America. The B Brothers of America. Oh, this is going to be a photo finish, folks. I support you. I did it! You did it! I won the $5,000! I get to go on a date with Vanna White. Congratulations, everyone. Uh, is that why Dan? Is that why Van is texting me? Being <laughs> Look like, who I was playing against! Oh my god, that guy sucked! Wow. This is that guy is one of those irony lords who went on Wheel of Fortune just to guess the most ridiculous letters. He went up there and was all like Q Z. Uh, I'm ruining the sanctity of America's favorite game show. <laughs> Wheel is America's game. How it dare is. he? Well, we beat him. We we took him out. And luckily, we only have one game left. We can finally put this shit show to bed. End our misery. Good lord. Gamecom. Well, well, there is a Wheel of Fortune 2, but I can only assume it's just like a... Uh, Same game, new new uh, puzzles. Yeah, it's like pass, a data so, pack. Yeah. So let's go with our last game. Uh, we got any Golden Age gamers out there? Because you're going to love this. This is Williams Arcade Classics. <laughs> All right. Cass says, containing game.com takes on Defender 1 and 2, Joust, Roboton, Robotron... 2084 and Sinistar, this may be well be the best bang for your buck cartridge for your dying handheld. Naturally, none of these conversions are particularly great, but I suppose they err mostly towards serviceable. 
The voice clips in Sinistar paired with pitch with a pitch inaccurate sample playback in the simulator makes for a particularly amusing listen if you can manage to hold out long enough to hear them. Well, I know what I'm gonna do. Let's load up that kernel one last time. I'm not gonna miss this. Oh yeah. I'm excited. Alright, give me that audio. We it's gotta here. hear how Sinistar sounds on a GameCom. Dear God. Damn. Yeah, he's gonna come on screen and go, Damn. That's all I can think of now. Yep, around this time, Williams was reissuing its arcade classics on the PS1. We're in hell, can we play Sinistar? We've, we've entered the hell arcade. This mm -hmm. is what arcades sound like in hell. Let's play Sinistar. Oh, look at that. Sinister, 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 Sinister. Sinister, 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 Sinister! That is what the intro looked like in the arcade, I'll give it that. This is causing BBH physical pain right now, I can just tell. Alright, this game's really hard, but if you can survive long enough, eventually these enemy fighters build something called a Sinistar, which is an evil space face that tries to eat you. So, let's just play it for a little bit. Original arcade version of this used a 53-way joystick. It controls just fine on GameCom. <laughs> Perfect port. Okay, that's your Cinnabomb button. Mmm, Cinnabomb. I was gonna say <laughs> We're waiting. We will get to the hopefully the creepy Cinnastar phase. Yeah, you gotta you gotta store up your Cinnabomb so you can so you can fight Cinnastar. All right, he's halfway formed. We just gotta survive until he becomes real. Oh, what game? We gotta survive. Gotta survive. Survival horror now. Yeah. And that this console is horrible and we need to survive. Yeah. I guess it's technically a handheld, but. Man, what if they made Resident Evil for this? Oh, wait, they did. Alright, run the tape back. It showed I gained an extra life when I died and mm -hmm. it gave me a game over. Now we're doing this. We're doing this. We're doing yeah, this I, I gotta hear the Sinistar. Great soundscape so far. Mm -hmm. Jesus Christ, it just swarms you. And you move it like one pixel a second. Also, if you go into options, you can give yourself a billion lives. Okay, yeah, let's do that once I die. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Listen, I have to hear him just... This only barely looks like Sinistar. I need to hear Drunk Sinistar so much. Okay. Let's give ourselves a whole bunch of lives. Oh, you weren't kidding. It goes up to 15? 15 lives. Yes. Yeah, okay. Let's make this work. I'm sorry, you have the touch screen. Why did you have to use the touch screen for exit? <laughs> what, why? It's like they knew some assholes would stream this 20 years later and just made it as much of a pain as possible. Yeah, this is genuinely a plot against all streamers. Yeah. I will be registering my complaints. Yeah, call up the BBB. They won't be happy to hear about this. Yeah, the BBB is, uh, the Better Famers Bureau. <laughs> exactly! Streamers, rise up! Also, everybody's mentioning how difficulty was spelled wrong. Was it? It was the vacuity. <laughs> they did not give a fuck. Can't say I blame them. Alright, I'm just gonna give you all some time to build up a Sinistar. Go on. Oh yeah, that Sinistar is gonna get made. 
make my sinister. Alright, got a nice stock of Cinnabombs. Okay, what came first, Cinnabombs or Cinnabon? That's what I want to know. Did Midway know? That is a good question. Was Eugene Jarvis just addicted to delicious Cinnabon? Okay, this sucks, but I'm actually looking up the history of Cinnabon now. I'm sorry, everybody, but this is my life. Cinnabon. <laughs> no one has to know about this. No one will know. Cinnabon was founded in. Let's see here. Chat says uh, 1985, but I want to make sure. Wow, they came out around the same time then. You think they used Sinistar as a mascot? I hope. I, I wish they did. 1985 at SeaTac Mall. Wow. In Washington. Great minds think alike. This is pretty clever for an advert game, gotta hand it to him. They're building up a delicious cinnamon roll. <laughs> exactly, 1985 was founded by a Cinnabon, a goth <laughs> lamb chop. Yeah. Great name, by the way, that's all I'm gonna think of now. Oh, there it is. Come on, build him up. Build me up, Buttercup. Build me a Cinnabon. Well, it's talking. Let's go listen to it. Let's listen to the wisdom of the Sinistar. Hey, Sinistar. He's just boring you. Sorry, babe. It actually doesn't sound that bad. Yeah. Which is weirdly enough the biggest disappointment was that it wasn't that disappointing. I wanted to hear Duke Nukem. Being like, I'm going to eat you. That's what Sinistar says. <laughs> I mean, I'm looking up Cinnabon. I hunger. I hunger. Uh, the Cinnabon article is so old, it still has a in popular culture section. Wow. They removed those from most of the Wikipedias, which, by the way, good, smart choice, but now it's like, hey, better call Saul. Uh, Saul works at Cinnabon. <laughs> I'm like, thanks. Well, that's Sinistar. Let's play one more game off of this. And okay. Then, then <laughs> let's, let's never talk about this ever again. Oh, uh, I can't. Can do, babe. Unbelievable. Yeah, this is one of the more unique platforms we've covered on stream. And I'm glad we've covered it, because now we never have to play it again. But we should finish things off with maybe some Robotron? I think we're, I want to see how they do Robotron on yeah. this. Yeah. Dual joystick game should be just fine. Plop. <laughs> It's true, Citricola, we do have some platformers to rank on it. Oh. I guess Jurassic Park counts as one. I know Sonic Jam does, for sure. Yeah, yeah let's, let's see old Robot Ron. Whoa! Wow. Slow down, Robotron, you're out of control! Try that again. Jesus Christ! Oh, oh no. Oh, really? Has it, has it played good? Is it oh, play good, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Well, the four face buttons shoot your shooter up, down, left, or right. But look at that. They come out behind you, your shots. And hang on, I'm gonna try some science here. You can outrun your shots! Look at that! You can hell of outrun your shots! <laughs> uh, Freon Leon says, uh, this looks arcade perfect to me. Oh, yeah. Uh, Scarface Smith calls it a Copytron. Um, someone asked if we actually, uh, overclocked our game.com for this. Maybe. What is it? Okay, everything else stops moving whenever you're moving. That, ma that makes it seem like it's really easy to game this. Yeah. Yeah. 
Oh, I gotta rescue this guy. There we go. Holy hell. That's all I can say about this. Holy hell. They really did it. They put Robotron on this thing. <laughs> Robotron tactics. Thanks, Rumble. But at what cost? Okay, I want to I see what Joust looks like. I'm just curious. Excuse me? Can't even say, oh, pardon me. Take that shit to the toilet. <laughs> yeah. Where'd I go? Oh. Fart. Hmm. Well, you know what? This is actually pretty bad. Not that good? No. It tries to keep the physics, but really that just makes it seem really sluggish and slow. At least you're not going warp speed like in Robotron. Oh, listen to that sound effect! Oh god! It's like you're rubbing a car across a chalkboard. <laughs> Well, we've played a lot of stuff on this stream, and my question to you, the folks out there, is this the worst system we've played? Are these the worst games we've played? Because honestly, I think you could make an argument for that. These are <laughs> these are very poorly converted games that are just amazingly terrible. FM Towns Party says this is my favorite harsh noise project. Yeah. <laughs> Digitized vomiting, this is the vomit sound. Is this that dinky groove that's been in the news lately? I don't even know what that is. Am I that out of touch with games? Don't worry about it. Okay, good. I don't even know what video games are anymore. Are they even real? Isn't it just like farting and screaming into the void? You know I joke, but this is actually pretty playable compared to the other games. It just has the worst soundscape of them all. Yes, we did show off the commercial for the Gamecom where the guy was like, You're a bunch of idiot assholes. I hate you. You should die. Buy the Gamecom or else. You, you or loser. go to hell. You clown loser. You horrible monster. Purchase these or else. It was the 90s. Oh, can you do the belly scoot? Uh, okay. Hang on. No, let's, I actually did this. hear about Dunky Groove. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Oh, you can't do the belly scoot. I really didn't expect that. Usually you can scoot through that platform on the right if you come in through the left. You absolute clod! You, you worst human being who's ever existed! How dare you! Play our system or else! <laughs> Sorry, I... Uh... That was just in your face back then. They saw Sega was doing it and they thought, hey, all we gotta do is directly call people idiots instead of just implying it. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna kill off my last ostrich and then load up Defender, and then then we can call this quits. Okay. This has been one of the more interesting games, I gotta say. It's it's awful, but just the fact that it's based on existing games makes it a little bit less awful. Let's play Def Defender 2. Oof. That is a good sound effect. This doesn't look I mean, shot wise. <laughs> I exploded into dirt. Oh, can you kill all the humans in this one? Okay. This is how we're gonna finish the stream. I gotta kill all the humans. Yeah, Das Mia says this looks like a rad T183 game. I've actually seen a few people compare this to the <laughs> TI83. It really does look like it. More. More. More lives, then use the touchscreen to choose default. I mean, exit. That's a normal game thing to do. Now in this game you're supposed to protect the humans, but if you kill them all, uh, the game doesn't like that. What does it do? The world explodes. Cool. I want to see what that looks like here on the Gamecom. God, everything's just exploding into dirt. Someone call Mr. Clean. <laughs> I saw that bullet coming from a mile away, and I could do nothing about it. Must kill humans. Oh, there we go. The world blew up. Damn. Check it out, everyone. The world has exploded. Oh, 
god! And now there's swarms of enemies that come after you, and you can't do anything to stop it. I can think of no better analogy for the game com. Uh, the, a game system that tried to destroy humanity, but luckily no one noticed. That's the game com. Oh boy, what did what did we learn tonight, Alex? Well, I think we learned quite a bit. Uh, the game com exists. Yeah. Um, the people who play it are idiot assholes, so that's us. Yeah, the commercial said so. Mm -hmm. um, the games are maybe not so great, and uh, much like Tiger Electronics uh, LCD games, it's not super great, but it, if you had it, you were happy to have something. Yep, any port in a storm, as the kids say. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess playing this would be better than playing no video games, so if this was all you had, that's what you had to deal with. That's kind of the case with those Tiger LCD games. Kids played those because they didn't have anything else. Like, you can't bring your Nintendo to school, but you can bring this shitty LCD thing. That's almost as good. But in the end, I think we're all better off with the Gamecom. The thing only lasted three years, had 21 games. We played almost all of them. Uh, what are our favorites, Alex? Turn this off here. Um, man. <sighs> well, I did like when Duke Nukem said, "Dang." Yeah, that was that was my favorite part. I liked uh, Fighters Mega Mix just for how the novelty of how weird that was. <laughs> but, but in the end, I think we're done here. Alex, switch us off. Oh, I can do the thing. Yeah, do the thing. Okay, so thank you all so much for watching. That's the guy from Quiz Whiz. Yeah, that's the guy from the cover of Quiz Whiz. So, the Tiger Gamecom. We've now seen all the games. Uh, what are y'all's favorites? Shout them out. Uh, shout out the games you think worked the best on this terrible, terrible system. Uh, Lost World. I had fun with Lost World. That was pretty uniquely awful. And yeah, Fighters Mega Mix, like I said. Oh, God, looking back on it, Batman and Robin is really a shining beacon of gameplay compared to everything else we saw on this It thing. really is. <laughs> Good lord, who knew? Uh, well, special thanks once again to Cass mm -hmm. of Bad Game Hall of Fame for helping set up this emulator, actually making things work. Go to BadGameHallOfFame.com for write-ups on all the worst games ever made, including several for the Gamecom. Yeah, let me put that in. S Sonic Jam! What the hell was Sonic Jam? <laughs> Why did they even do that? Actually, oh uh, yeah, Ka uh, Cass, uh, post the link in the chat, because I don't, I don't want to misspell it or anything. Yeah, also, link us up. They, uh, there is a final shout-out at the end from Cass, and since they have done so much work for us, we are, I'm going to shout this out to every one of y'all. Shout-out to all Retro Pals, Pals of Retro Pals, and whoever the PAL equivalent of our NTSC Retro Pals may be. <laughs> to the Game & Love Network, yes, we are a part of the Game & Love Network, support them. And lovers of loving love. To the Taco Bell drive through employee with the Hatchet Man tat who gave me an extra soft taco. That's cool. I love when that happens. Fucking to Jared Leto, Jared Kushner, Jared Fogel, and Furby. <laughs> yeah, fuck you to all Jareds and also Furby. I yeah, love I, Furby. I like that the cast gave us an, a, a scene styled info for yes. all these games, including shout outs and fuckings too. Thank you for the fuckings as usual. I shouldn't have said that. Honestly, okay, moving on. Honestly, that was uh, that provided more entertainment than any of these games, but. <laughs> <laughs> we still explored the entire library. We know for sure, for sure now, that there is nothing worth playing on the Tiger Gamecom. Not a it is a thing. It is a vast intellectual wasteland on this thing. I saw some people's highlights for the calculator. Yeah, it did calculate. It worked fine. Uh, that's more than you could say for most other stuff on this system. How about that Sinistar? I liked Jurassic Park, and I liked the parts where they were just constantly screaming at you. Yep. Any game that screamed was was good for me. Mm -hmm. But we did it. That's the kind of thing we do. We're Retro Pals. We stream every Wednesday where we ask our patrons what they want us to play. This week, the people voted and they said for the third time, no, we do not want to see the Neo Geo Pocket Color. We want to see the Tiger Gamecom. And we don't, we don't doubt your wisdom. Mm -hmm. We did it. We played it. And now you have to live with that. I hope you're happy. Suffer like we did, babe. I had fun though. It's it's always fun to explore these libraries. We tend to do this on the, these on this stream, and that's that's what I enjoy: fully plumbing a uh, a library of a specific console, looking for anything worthwhile. And in this case, we came up empty. Not a damn thing. But that's life, you know. Sometimes you get uh, the hidden gems. Sometimes you get the hidden turds. 
This time it was all turds. All fucking turds. I do recommend checking out an actual game com if you can find one cheap. It is a conversation piece, and it is probably the worst video game portable ever made. There can't be any worse than this. Can't be. Nope. So I'm going to look for someone to host. Alex, give us a spiel. All right. Um, as Danny said, our patrons did pick our uh, choice this week. In fact, they vote for everything we do every Wednesday. If you want to vote on what we do every Wednesday, too, just pitch in five bucks to our Patreon, and that's at patreon.com slash retropals. And you, too, can vote for the Gamecom instead of the Neo Geo Pocket. Yeah, keep outvoting the Neo Geo Pocket color. It's now tradition. That thing's never going to get on stream. We're also on Twitter at twitter.com slash retropalshq. That's when we post when we go live, when we have new stuff on YouTube, and when uh, we have a poll out for Mascot Friday, which uh, this Friday at 8 p.m. Central, we will be doing our Mascot Friday, where we stream mascot platformers and ask you to help us rank them on our massive, massive list. Mm -hmm. This week, I think we're going back to Sega Genesis. Got to keep it simple. Got to go back to 2D. Mm. Maybe play some decent games for once. Good God. Please give us good games. I feel like I'm overloaded on shit right now. I'll go to the toilet. Oh, that's a good idea. I should do that. <laughs> All right. We're also on YouTube at youtube.com slash retropals. That's where we post uh, highlights of our streams and original scripted videos. We also have an archives channel. Let me just... Actually, no, it's too late to pull it up. I don't want to fiddle it's with it. It's too anything. late. But look too up late. Retro Pals archives. There we have an archive of our our uh, ill-fated ColecoVision stream. Mm -hmm. We have all the frames for that in the mm -hmm. YouTube archives. So if you want to see an unjumpy, actually full-frame stream... Go check it out. Go check that out. So I'm going to leave y'all off with Games Done Quick, who's doing yet another Cuso Grande Invitational. Oh, wow. I hope this is a regular thing now. Yeah, uh, so they teamed up with Brosencia's Cuso Grande, and they're having these little matchups on the official Games Done Quick channel. So they're exposing thousands of people to the wonders of Cuso Gay. Beautiful. Go cheer them on. The people right now are playing... There's a Robocop 2 for Game Boy? Good God. <laughs> Oh, Slow Beef is playing. Cool. Oh my God, go host that shit! <laughs> All right, go wish it. Go wish our pal Slow Beef luck playing RoboCop Two for Game Boy. Hell yeah, we have him over all the time for dinner who, and shit. Who who really had the worst time tonight? That's mm -hmm. what I'm wondering. So anyway, we'll be back on Friday with Mascot Friday. Thanks y'all for watching. We'll see you later. See ya, folks.